Hey, you wanna learn about spacey things? Okay. You know, up until recently, science had no idea exactly what existed within a black hole. Or for that matter, what they even were, no pun intended. But today, we know more than ever, not just about space, but about black holes specifically, and what exists within them. And if you thought that it was just an empty void full of scary nothingness, you're about to be surprised. Here are 10 surprising things that exist inside black holes. Number 10 is an event horizon. It's a common misconception that black holes vacuum up material. Kinda like me at an all-you-can-eat buffet, up top! But the truth is, they act like any other body of mass in the universe, only attracting objects towards them that fall within their gravitational influence. But once that gravity pulls an object into the black hole, it comes into contact with something called an event horizon. In physics, an event horizon is a boundary from which events cannot affect outside observers. For example, let's say you fell into a black hole. Ah! That would be you. No, but really, let's say that you fell into a black hole while the rest of us were watching. First, yes, that would suck to be you. Second, while you would come across the event horizon, to us, you would appear as though you were just frozen in time. We would never actually see you cross that event horizon. Oh, and one more thing, if you did cross the event horizon, there's no coming back. Better pack a lunch. Number nine is spaghettification. Spaghettification sounds like dinner at me nono's house. Spaghettification is the weird term used by physicists to explain what happens to an object once it enters a black hole. If you passed across the event horizon of one of these black holes, you would go through something called the spaghettification process. This is also known as the noodle effect, in case you wanted to taste your name for it. Your body would be stretched vertically from head to toe into a spaghetti-like formation of atoms. This happens because the gravitational pull of the black hole would be much stronger at your feet than at your head. At the same time, your right side would be compressed towards the left, and your left side would be compressed towards your right. Think of it kind of like squeezing a tube of toothpaste. In the end, you'd just be a stream of noodle matter heading towards the center of the black hole. Worst vacation spot ever. Number eight is the gravitational singularity. Also known as a space-time singularity, a gravitational singularity is what many physicists believe lies at the center of a black hole. It's a point where matter has become so condensed that the gravitational field becomes almost infinite. When this occurs, space and time as we know it breaks down. In non-rotating black holes, the singularity is depicted as a single point, whereas in rotating black holes, physicists believe that it resembles a ring. But because space and time have broken down, singularity Singularities possess bizarre properties which lead to strange paradoxes, which we'll get to in a moment. Until fairly recently, it was believed that singularities and therefore black holes last forever. Ever, ever. But the brilliant Stephen Hawking, rest your soul, has shown that they evaporate over time, and though it may take trillions of years, they will eventually fade away. Number seven is nothing. It is in fact possible that there's nothing at the center of a black hole because they simply do not exist, at least not the way we normally think. While they are predicted in physics and should be out there, some physicists are still skeptical. A singularity or point of infinity is often seen by mathematicians as a sign that something is wrong with a theory. The argument being that infinity isn't something that can actually occur in nature. It's simply a concept mathematicians and scientists use when a theory reaches a point where where the mathematics break down. At the core of the black hole, it may be that there is no true singularity. So in other words, the most brilliant minds in the world have come up with that it could be something or could be nothing. We're getting there. Number six is the firewall. No, oh man, I just got excited. You mean like a computer? Maybe, just keep listening. A recent theory suggests that inside a black hole, there's something called a firewall. 
Until firewalls were suggested, most physicists believed that black holes did not violate a law in quantum mechanics which states that information can never be truly destroyed. So, even if information can't escape a black hole, it still exists inside of it. It just can't be communicated to the outside world. However, some suggest that as a black hole evaporates, information does seep out which causes all sorts of problems for theoretical physicists. The solution is a firewall. As an event crosses the event horizon, it meets this intense wall of energy which essentially destroys it to such a degree that information cannot be later retrieved. This literally breaks physics! <laughs> okay, I'm okay, let's move on. Number five is the origin of gravity. Black holes may actually contain the secret to gravity. Gravity is an integral part of the universe. Stars, planets, life, none of this would be possible without this mysterious attractive force pulling matter together. But gravity is also strangely weak and no one is certain why. The answer may be within black holes. Some have speculated that the reason gravity is so weak is that it doesn't originate in the three spatial dimensions that we live in. It's possible that gravity comes from another dimension. Mention. Then, this force seeps into our universe in a diluted form, explaining why it's so weak. But inside a black hole where space-time is so contorted, you might encounter glimpses into another dimension. Hey, what else is going on in here? Oh, you got three-faced women, okay. Stephen Hawking has suggested that we might create miniature black holes just to see if they do contain evidence for the origin of gravity itself. Oh yeah, I know how this goes. It starts as a little baby black hole, but then you feed it and it gets bigger and bigger and bigger, it's just seeing everybody. Oh God, run! Number four is a Gravistar. The term black hole conjures up images of, well, a black hole in space. Most theories suggest that at the center of a black hole is some sort of singularity or even a tear in space-time. But what if it wasn't a hole at all? An alternative theory in physics suggests that black holes are actually gravistars. A gravistar is a hypothesized structure left behind by an imploding star, but instead of being a hole in space-time, it's actually a bubble structure with a surface. Physicists Emil Matola and Powell O. Mazur argue that what we think of as black holes are these strange bubbles. What's enticing about this theory is that these bubbles wouldn't require bizarre explanations such as a singularity to exist. So in other words, perhaps we'd run into one of these Gravistars if we ever tried to enter a black hole. Although you would most certainly die, but you'd know the truth right before the end. Number three is closed time-like curves. Some scientists speculate that closed time-like curves exist inside some black holes. Every object in space and time has what's known as a world line. It can be thought of as a trajectory through time, taking us from our past through the present to the future. Now usually we're rigidly stuck in our world line and have to pass through it from point A to Z. But inside a black hole, the gravitational field could actually bend this line so that a person's world line would loop back on itself. So that a person's world line would loop back on itself. So that a person's world line would loop back. Wait a minute. In other words, from inside a black hole, an object, including a person or spacecraft, would move in a specific trajectory which would take it into its own past. In case you didn't figure it out, we're talking time travel, people! Now this is debated and no one knows if an object could survive inside a black hole to even attempt it. Basically what I'm saying is the DeLorean and Doc Brown is not gonna cut it. Number two are wormholes. It's possible that at the center of some black holes, there exist portals to another region of our universe. This portal is called a wormhole, and it was first theorized in 1916 by Austrian physicist Ludwig Flamm. He speculated that a solution to the equations of Einstein's theory of relativity suggested that something called a white hole might exist inside a black hole. Einstein himself, along with Nathan Rosen, then expanded on this to suggest that this white hole might actually 
actually be part of a bridge to another part of the universe. Known as the Einstein-Rosen Bridge, this hole would make it possible to travel vast distances in the blink of an eye. You might have heard of this before because science fiction writers and filmmakers have been showing this in movies and talking about what it would look like to actually pass through a wormhole forever. But while Einstein's equations predict that they exist, no one has found evidence of one yet. And number one are other universes. Oh yeah, buckle in for this one. Though singularities are said to exist inside black holes, physicists also speculate that it was a singularity that became the Big Bang. If this single point of nearly infinite energy and mass was what started our universe, and such a thing exists inside a black hole, then does that mean black holes create universes? Well, it sounds wild, but physicists such as Nikodem Poplowski believe that black holes create new universes which are then birthed from our own. She argues that some black holes spin at nearly the speed of light, and this creates huge amounts of torsion inside the singularity. Eventually, this coiled up energy needs to release in a big bang. But because of the event horizon of a black hole, we never see the explosion. That means that our universe might actually be inside of a black hole, like right now. Oh, oh mama! And that's it. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more like it in the future, subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications for my new uploads. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.